Hello and welcome to Retro Cars Reborn. I'm Lee, of course. And today we're going to be looking at how to make a simple brake pipe. As you can see, this one is pretty much reaching the end of its life. So we are going to make a new one. And I'm going to show you the process. Right then, so there's going to be a couple of things that you're going to need before you can start. One, obviously, is you're going to need new ends. I've got double because I'm going to make two brake pipes, one for each side. And the next thing you're going to need is some proper brake pipe. You can get it from any motor factor. Obviously, I'm not going to need a lot. And the biggest thing and the most expensive thing you have to buy is a flaring tool. They're not that expensive. This is a laser one. And I've had it for a long, long time. And yeah, laser flaring tool kit comes with instructions, shows you how to use it. And so I'm gonna do that for you, I'm gonna show you how to use it. So let's crack up. Just gonna talk about these new ends first so you can get them in different sizes like that one you can get one that's a lot longer and you can buy them in like a pack so that will come as a pack that will come as a pack the longer ones will, will come as a pack and you can even get bigger ones of those as well that will come as a pack so you might just might as well just buy the lot because it's just going to be cheaper and the easiest way to find out which ones you're going to require because just looking at those next to each other they do not look the same at all except that is the correct one and the way to easily find out is to just get your end and make sure that it goes into your existing caliper there you go, tightens up perfection and again with this end just make sure that it fits on your flexi hose before you start so I've just straightened the piece of the copper out marked where and how long of the piece I'm going to need now I work that out simply by just lining up it at the end seeing where it pivots then moving it along to the next straight piece moving again along to the next straight piece pivoting it all the way around till it comes to where basically that end is so that's how we're going to be slightly too long, but you always want it to be slightly a bit too much because it's always better to be too long than too short. Right then, so your cutter comes in the kit. This is actually a huge one for doing brake pipes. You can actually get a, a much smaller one, it's literally just this piece and no other bits of which of the wheel is on the end of it about there but this is what it came supplied with so you just want to tighten it down and then spin it round it will get loose a little bit tighter again spin it round it's a little bit loose tighten it again it round a little bit loose again spin it round just keep tightening it every time it gets nice and loose obviously for camera this is taking a lot longer but uh, in person you can literally just whiz round it and there we go you have cut off as the end start and you can put the rest of your copper pipe back so this is what you should have so far so 
So now we're literally going to be, because this is the bit, <laughs> even professionals screw up. I've done it loads of times, trust me. You flare the ends and forget to put these on. So let's put them on first. Yeah, slide them on first. You can use some black tape to hold them in the middle so they don't move about. And then you can make your flares on these ends now, which is what we'll do now. So let's have a look at the ends that have been created. So for the end that's going to the brake pipe, needs to be a female flare. It's just an open wedge. And then the other end is a male flare. So I've just got my little bit of black tape on there, look, because it stops the bits from sliding up and down. So we're going to make the easiest flare first, which is the female flare for this end. Now, not all the kits are the same. I know that for certain. You can get a more professional kit than this. But basically, you've got this bit, which shows you all the different pipe sizes that this flare kit can take. You want to have it so it's just that little bit sticking out. And you want to tighten it down as much as you can. So this is the bit that makes the flare possible. It's just a giant jaw piece here that hooks on. And as you wind this handle, it just crushes it down. And this is where you fit all your little individual pieces into the end to make all the different flares. So a bit like this look. Now you can hold this by hand because if you've still got a brake pipe attached to the car you can hold it by hand and do it but if you're like me and you've got this nice simple brake pipe to make you can put it all in a vise and make it nice and easy for yourself. And voila, just like that, we're in a vice. Wow. This makes it so much easier. So you've just got to get the point in the end of the pipe. Turn it till it grips, and there you go. So you're now at the start of making that flare. Just turn it. Because it's copper, it's nice and soft metal. Keep turning it till you can't turn it no more. And it should be left with a nice whee, yep. nice female flare. And we've got one nice female flare. And that's the easiest one to make. None of the other bits. None of the other bits required at all. And yeah, you can remove your black tape from that side now. And there you go, you've made one side already. So 
Let's move on to the other side, which is a slightly harder flare to make. But I'm sure we can do it. Now for making your single male flare, these are the two most common you're going to use. This one and this one. And the only difference they've really got is that centre shaft is two different sizes. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be this one for this tube size. So once again, you want to make sure you've got that little bit sticking out of the top. Again, a vice definitely helps, but isn't required. So the only difference this time is you've got this die, which makes this makes this crease in it. Let's see if we can get it to focus. And look, you see, and that's what creates the single male flare shape. Just want to place it in the end of the part. A little easier this time because the press has actually got something to sit in and to sit against. And again, copper, nice soft metal, so not difficult to get it to change. If you do this with metal brake pipes that have already been formed once, you just got to watch out for them cracking. So you just got to just got to do it a little bit slower. There you go. That's as much as I can turn it on, and then just remove it again. Take your die out, and there you have your male flare. There you go. And nice and easy was that. You're saving yourself 200 quid a year at garage is easy by doing this yourself. Plus, if you're owning a retro or classic car like me, a lot of garages don't want to do brake pipes on them in the first place. You can also get what's called a double flare. Uh, this is your single male with double flares right in the point. Right in the point, it's got another indent. Now, you simply, when it was in the device and clamped up, you just go back in with this, back in there again. And that's how you would create that second indent in it. That would get you a male double flare, basically. So you've reached this stage. So now comes the most easiest part. You literally just got to bend this one to look like that one. And there you go, look. Nice and easy. As you can see, that my drop on that isn't as big but you gotta remember that isn't really needed and to easily make all of the round shapes uh, if you've got a jack with a metal handle you can just slot it in a vise and you can easily form all of your rounder shapes on the handle. So there you go, nice and simple. Now everybody else can get out there and do it. Thanks for watching, it's been Retro Cars Reborn, that's been me. Now that you've tackled those nice and easy brake pipes, you can 
move on to doing massive jobs. Easy, just practice, practice, practice. You'll, you'll get better. So easy. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, and comment, and I shall see you in the next video.